All right, so I decided to shoot on the GH5 tonight. Um, got this on manual focus. Can't trust that autofocus. <laughs> no, I could. It's actually not that bad, but you know, if I put my hand or whatever, it's gonna go for that, just like the A7S III would be. But the A7S III would kick back very fast, opposed to the GH5 that's kind of slow. So, um, you know, what did I want to discuss tonight? I wanted to discuss where the hell is the GH6? I mean, come on now. It, it's been five years since they've updated this camera. I decided that I'm not going to get the A7 IV, which I'm glad I dodged that bullet because it does overheat and I cannot deal with that. They might as well just called that the A7R5, if you know what I mean. Take after Canon. Uh, but yeah, I just, I, I'm looking, I, I really want to get the GH6. Uh, I like all the specs, you know, I'm looking over here on beach photo. They're, they're talking about that there's a new Micro Four sensor. Uh, updated Venusgen image processor, 5.7K, 60p video, 10-bit sampling. Uh, the part that I'm really digging is the DCI 4K 10-bit, 422, unlimited recording. I mean, even though this has it, um, from what their announcement or their little splash on their page is that, that they are they have done something with the autofocus so hopefully it's not this contrast based and that they've decided to to move forward and do eye detection face detection um because if if the gh6 could just catch up i mean it, it'd be an amazing camera uh i know a lot of people i'm I got the s5 and i to me i just i don't really like the look of of full frame for some reason. Now I like the benefits of it because the ISO can be kicked up all the way to, I believe, 104,000, even higher than that, um, opposed to micro four thirds, you're stuck at like, you know, 7,200, maybe more. I think this goes up to 8,000, um, you know, and it's like the, with the A7S III, I can start my ISO in S-Log3 at 12,800, which is insane. But I do have to overexpose by 1.7 to be able to get good color. And um, that's a that's frustrating. I wish that S-Log3 wouldn't do that, either with S-Log2, that you could just basically have zero exposure, not be under or over, you don't have to push it. Like this camera right now, I'm a little bit underexposed, but I wanted to see how it looked. Uh, I'm on Vivid, so um, I don't know. I, I really like the look of the Lumix cameras just because it gives it that, that film look. And um, one of my big issues with the Sony cameras is the colors. I just don't like the colors and it, it's a pain in the ass to get good colors with them. Um, I love everything else, but just that. And I kind of wondered if if Sony used the DCI format, if it would be more of a film look. But then again, the Canon R5 uses DCI and it does not look cinematic or film based at all. Actually, I think it's one of the worst out of all the full frame cameras, just like the image itself. The colors are great, but the image itself just, it, it looks like a regular camera. It doesn't look anything like a cinematic camera. Like, I am I want something that's more close to, to Black Magic. I mean, they Black Magic has the most amazing image out of all the cameras out there. Um, I mean, obviously, it's, to me, it's close to, like, Red and Ari, right? And if Blackmagic was smart, they would put out a camera that actually has awesome autofocus and sick-ass IBIS. If they did that and, and it killed on the low light, 
they would be they would they would be the crown they would kill all cameras out there with that so anyway let me know what do you guys think gh6 where the hell is this camera i mean i, I want it so bad I, I mean i am looking at other lumix cameras like the s5 but it's just the autofocus like all these cameras the s1h autofocus problems and i just don't want to deal with that i i I like the, I mean, and I'm definitely not going to upgrade to the, the GH5 too. I mean, that's just stupid. So I, it, it's such a minimal bump off of this camera. I mean, yeah, the autofocus is a little bit better, but it's not worth it. So I guess you're just going to have to wait longer and longer for the GH6, but I know that camera is going to kill when it comes out. So, um, let me know what you think down below. Are you, are you waiting for it? Or have you moved on? A lot of people from Micro thir Four Thirds have moved on to full frame and sick of waiting. So I don't want to wait, but uh, I really am a fan of these Lumix cameras ever since I had the G85. So let's see what happens. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.